so decentralization is a is is a is a term uh, where you just don't own one thing at one place you just distribute it to, to multiple places now people might ask you the question like what is then distribution versus decentralization right so distribution is if i have to draw the note i have not a drawing here but you should go and and google it uh, distribution is a place when let's say at a given point of a time called t um and there is a node called n for example that node kind of has a data which which is x like for example like right? now you distributed that data to 10 different nodes of yours now during that same t plus 1 time frame that same x is going to be replicated to to uh, n plus x kind of a node right out there now the possibility of, of you replicating or, or creating the entire data back if any one of these nodes go down will be like very minimal so you have to just go and copy again each and everything from one place to another place just imagine if the person who is spinning all of these nodes is also no more right just imagine what happens if the the, the place where you are hosting this data is is kind of not even 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 there anymore so most of these data which you have just hosted on x uh, like on, on these nodes it will be like gone immediately but with the decentralization the beauty of it is at any given point of a time even one single node if exist it will form itself a new network altogether when i say network you don't even have to go and start enforcing the replication factor it it does the replication on its own and that is where the decentralization kind of kicks into the picture and make sure like not only one party but multiple parties if they try to go and kill that particular system they cannot because it is i believe most of you might have seen lot of movies also around it like so when you when you cut a hand or cut cut something of a person then it suddenly starts it start making uh, the new hand of its own that is that is what in real term if you if you uh, try to summarize into into a computer world this is what decentralization kind of means right now coming to what exactly and how exactly it is going to play a very vital role so it is going to help us to protect from state sponsors and censorship and what what it basically means i i don't know how many of you have ever heard about like in hong kong china suppression or uh, let's say in um, in ukraine or in russia whatever the news which we also don't know so lot of news journalists not of lot of these people just go to jail just because they might have published some article or they might have posted it into this particular media channel and they they were able to find out their location they will put into into the jail now coming to how exactly the decentralization just solves all of these things right so let's imagine there's a journalist called journalist which who wants to just write a um some kind of article and he just posted that article on one uh, one of the decentralized network the moment he posted that article on one decentralized network that article would get replicated into tons and hundreds and thousands of nodes different nodes now to go and censor that particular thing will become difficult for any state to basically make that happen because once once that particular thing has been into into different multiple places you can never stop it the the great example of such thing is called religion okay so let's say i am also hindu right so let's say all of these hindus all the muslims all the everyone who are following any kind of a religion you might be hearing these religions about your ancestor like right? your ancestor might have been following that religion and and you are also following it and nobody can ban it right even if india wants to ban certain religion they cannot even if if, if in in india any other place into the world if they want to ban certain religion they cannot the reason being because this is something which cannot be banned the same thing is is also around the decentralization as well once you put your data there you cannot just take it down very easily there are a lot of problems also but there are a lot of benefit also better backup in case of natural disaster this is what we already know like so if you have tons and hundreds and thousands of nodes which are backing it up then most likely you will have a great natural disaster mechanism of of backup created by default open marketplace for equal participation what does that basically what it is basically means is um, when we say open marketplace it is basically so how many of you have uh, gone to the mandis of in india like so where all of these different farmers comes at a, dif- at a at a specific location they try to sell their product to uh, the wholesaler and then wholesaler take the take the uh, all these all these sabji and everything and then they just go and 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 are uh, distributed to the retail right so that particular part is kind of a marketplace okay that that is where people go and transact now what is what does that mean by open marketplace open marketplace is a place where you decide something on chain or you decide openly the price of any such sort of a thing and people kind of go and try to compete on those prices okay and that is where that open marketplace kind of comes into the picture so for example 
if I have a product called X, I have a product called Y, or I have a product called Z, if I want to go and sell it into the market, today it's my term, like however, however competitive market it will be, I can go and pitch it to different people in different pricing. That is also fine. But let's imagine if the process kind of changes. Uh, I have a product X, I want to take it to the open marketplace. I have to basically define a price of it. And that price will be the final price for the participation. And that is how exactly you open up the market. And you can track these prices on chain which means like nobody can go and change it in the future also so that is where open marketplace kind of a, plays an entire very vital role where any one of us can go and participate in, into it now competitive pricing basically means like um, as i said like if it is open marketplace for, by default you get a competitive pricing which means like uh, even just for your example right so if you go and store your uh, image today on any any of the centralized versions one terabyte will hardly will is going to cost you around 120 rupees per month uh if i have to put it in dollar it is going to be around 10 dollars uh above more than 10 dollars right around around 20 dollars around per year on for one terabyte of data right and and that to that to just uh storing your web images now if if you go to the with the same concept if you go to the web 3.0 in a, one of the storage mechanism you'll end up in paying one by third one by fourth of that particular price so that is how the cheaper the competitive will become the moment you make the uh, marketplace more open the the pricing becomes more competitive and that is where you 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 as a user will also starts getting start getting benefit out of it